There was a recent thread on Kenshi Reddit where someone was asking about good Kenshi YouTubers to watch. There were a lot of answers and some great recommendations, but not one said Kirko, which made me realize it's about time I make a good Kenshi video. This is not that video. This is a video about a lone young Yabuta outlaw named Toll, and his mission? Save his master Yabuta of the Sands from Tengu's high security vault and cause chaos in the Great Desert. Not necessarily in that order. Let's begin. Toll's journey begins in the city in the Great Desert, the city of Stoat. He's the last of Yabuta's fragments. He is Yabuta's last. And just like with every good Kenshi story, he's gonna start by scavenging. Because his combat skills are not very good. But he's a bit better at sneaking, lockpicking, theory and assassination. Him being an outlaw. And looks like there might be a place to scavenge nearby already. Some rebel farmers got wrecked and I will steal their stuff. Although this dire hyena might have a thing or two to say about that. We will not let her. Toll will not allow to be caught by that thing. And it seems that hyena has already given up the chase. Good. So Toll can come back to city and sell his ill-gotten goods. He's a thief, but he needs to learn who can he can actually steal from. And that sword is gonna fetch a very nice price. And then we go back to the scene of the crime and steal some more stuff. Stuff he can actually eat. As always, if you want to join on this playthrough, you can leave a comment down below with your character. The template you can use is gonna be in the description. And those of you who already posted your back stories either on discord or the community page please repost them down below so we have them all together in one spot Toll is gonna need some friends if he is to free Abuta from his prison but he has a lot of training to do before he's gonna be capable of that of course he started very friendly with Yabuta's outlaws but there can be no outlaws until he frees Yabuta and that's why he needs you and since it's nighttime this might be a perfect time to visit a slave camp maybe give these guys a new slave to play with with. And then we see if we can maybe free some slaves. Oh, one of them is going. Well, that one is not pulling any stops. I'm sure the guards will react quite well. Maybe another one will be smarter. This one is actually gonna follow me, I think. Come on, friend. Let's sneak out of here. There you go. He's smart. He's sneaking. Hopefully, he's not gonna go into combat. Oh, he's terrible at sneaking. Well, run, buddy. Now, just run. As long as he doesn't get in combat, he's gonna be fine. They hit him in the leg. Killbot is down. If I can grab Killbot from this dude before this dude can put him in. Come on. Yes, we have stolen him. And take him out. Nobody will be the wiser. Toll is in recovery coma, but we will fix him up. No, don't make him fly, dude. Anytime now, buddy. Anytime. Welcome back to the world of living. You're just gonna stay out here and chill then, huh? If that's the case, then yoink. Oh, how did you feel that? I do not know. Toll, poor kill bot. <laughs> Clearly Killbot was not the slave we were supposed to rescue, but he will be the slave we shall save. Let's bring him to safety. Now it seems some united heroes met an unfortunate fate out here, giving us some gear for our new friend. Now we approach the city of Shobatai, a place that houses the famous shinobi thieves. And until Yabuta returns, I think Toll would be perfect thief material. But first let's sell some stuff that we smuggled in, and then let's see if the shinobi will have us. Sign me up and all of my money is now gone. Shinobi thieves are also my allies now and hopefully my allies will not mind if I practice my lockpicking skill. Oh, they seem to have some decent stuff over here. I will borrow your pants and I will grab your fog mask. Actually, I will borrow your ninja zukin instead. I'll give the fog mask to my friend. Now let's imprison our friend and then we're gonna see when he wakes up if he wants to join me. Oh yes, he does. Now the unfortunate part is I don't have the resources to unlock him. Poor malnourished killbot, but at least he's part of our faction now. And apparently he's about to get enslaved. And then killbot is once again apparently gonna leave. But killbot, what if you stop being an obedient slave? Go sneak, buddy. Nobody will know that you're here. And killbot is back and ready for action. Until he heals up a bit, I'm just gonna have him train around over here for a bit. And while Killbot trains, maybe Toll can go rescue another slave. I don't think this one 
wants to run. I don't think this one wants to escape either. This one wants, don't want to escape either. Okay, she's just gonna run then. Well, that's not gonna end well for her. All right, this one finally is gonna chill with me. Jarek, you're doing good, dude. Nobody sees you, but you're walking just past that slave trader, which could be a problem. Now would be the time to run, dude. Oh my god, he is not very good at running. Um, Indeed, he is very bad. He decided that fight might be the way. He is now mine. I will run away with him. My precious. I hope those bolts are not hurting you, buddy. And then we wait for him to wake up again. How you doing, buddy? You used to be a rebel farmer. Oh, he's actually got some skills. This might be the man that we actually brought in and rescued now. Now we just need to smuggle Jarek in to safety. And also find him some food. But worry not. We got some bread. Let's find him some gear as well. So he's gonna look a bit less like a slave. Gilbot and Jarek need to rest and recuperate. But Toy is once again gonna go out there into the wide great desert. To find maybe some people or animals that are fighting each other. And try not to get hit by those same people. While stealing some food. Now let's see if there's some guards out there that would want to help us with these guys. Ah, there you go. I already see somebody coming over here. Oh, that's not gonna go well. But the Garu are also here to help i'm not sure who is winning but i think in the end the winner is gonna be me maybe these reavers are gonna win this fight but that's okay shobatai is close and yes indeed they have won against the gar but they are all hurt not hurt enough that i could beat them but hurt enough that the guards are gonna take care of them and let's quickly grab their good stuff before the guards could steal it because if nothing else this stuff sells pretty well and it's gonna be perfect gear for my two boys we are the dark reavers now and good thing everybody is so enthusiastic around here to buy stolen stuff which gave me enough money to buy some backpacks finally or at least one backpack for toll toll who is going back into the great desert again back to look for adventure and steal stuff and maybe cook some meals delicious meals for jerick or jerick who cannot eat raw meat like the rest of us and maybe some meat for this dark river scout we brought up with us because she wants to join as well we just need to get her out of here and it might take a while to get her out but in the end she's out and her stats are pretty nice for our little party we're gonna let her train with jerick and killbot and since night is coming toll is gonna run to his old stomping grounds to see if he can rescue another slave or two what would happen if i were to pick up this poor escaped slave and just run you can have this slave back i will leave now poor toll has been shot in the head and nobody knows that he's here yes go back inside and toll will go explore the desert for this night because there are always fights in the horizon and see if he can practice some assassination yes there you go maybe this is uh, even a fight that toll can win oh yes it's perfect when you can try and beat somebody with a weapon you stole from them and this poor goat lady stands no chance or maybe she does and a rebel farmer you can capture i wanted to mention that if you want to play with the same setting that i'm playing with there is gonna be a mod list down below in the description and if you want the mod the load order thing as well that one will be linked on my discord in the game mod section so just check that thing out and then you too can become an outlaw an outlaw who's recruiting a crack squad to save his former boss and there is another recruit we can get Get. now shinobi if you could uh release my new friend that would be that would be great there you go thank you boys i appreciate it now lloyd pin you go get some rest lady we have five people now we might have some gear but we have no weapons so that's gonna be toll's next job and looks like nomads have uh caused some issues in the town so maybe nomads could be the source of those weapons although i'm not really sure if i won theirs but maybe i can save one of the nomads saving being a very uh relative word over here but they might want to join us as well please release the lady there you go that's the spirit he's got a bit of a bounty with the united cities but i think that's that's quite proper now you guys have fun fighting out here and dark reaver scout apparently has been attacked the shinobi gonna help me there you go this is probably gonna end very badly for the shinobi in the long run because uh the samurai are now probably gonna yeah fight them throughout the whole town but at least maybe this samurai is gonna lose no it seems like they are running outside to fight 
other samurai so yeah not gonna end too well they did manage to feed uh one shop guard and they took down that samurai heavy i think this is gonna be the time where we all have to start running dark reaver scout is gonna steal from our allies in between and also from the samurai perfect now you also have to run out although unfortunately some are being targeted oh bellis bellis got shot in the head jerry got hit as well run everybody well that ended really uh really fast for poor bellis <laughs> Who got sniped in the head? Well, everybody else, run. I don't think... Oh, Dark Reaver Scout has also been sniped. Jarek, if you can make it out of here, you are a true hero. Apparently, they're not too big of a fan for him being a slave. Killbot, in the meantime, got destroyed as well. But I believe in Jarek's skill to get out of here. Are you guys uh, gonna give up at some point? That would be nice, wouldn't it? So really, Jarek is still the one in the greatest danger. But every danger has to pass. And it looks like at least three guys may made it out to safety and killbot is just uh just going out because these guys decided to fight everybody else but him this could be very dangerous if they turn on him he's dead in like one hit just like poor bayless oh no they decide to take his leg instead that's better lloyd pin was voted as the one to go back and see if she can save somebody and killbot is just gonna patiently wait for his legs to heal surely these guys are busy enough fighting each other enough so we can save the dark reaver scout and then we run dark reaver scout has been saved and most importantly she brought out some decent weapons we can actually use and also opium and cocaine killbot actually has neighbors who uh used to be shinobi but are now dead problem is he can't actually run to get outside right now otherwise he would have already escaped this place is empty though and maybe just maybe he's got a chance or he's gonna get met by uh, one of these samurais who apparently don't care if he can make it into the shinobi tower maybe he can have a moment of peace to rest and fix his broken leg there's actually another shinobi thief and prisoner over here would be a shame if we were to take this backpack off of him and his weapons we are the greatest of friends it's now midnight and killbot's leg has almost healed if he is to get out it would be now or now never or likely never because he already got spotted but luckily that guy's glitched let's just hope the guards are busy enough no no they are they're not killbot just don't get shot in the head and you're gonna be good that's all i'm asking just don't get shot in the head i think he might actually be out of range and he did not get shot in the head or anywhere else for that matter now all we have to do is spam that r and he's gonna be fine just a little bit further and you'll be fine buddy this is not even gonna be a slightest problem you'll see as i said not even a problem and the five were back together well they used to be six but now five and right away there is another opportunity out there to steal from the sand ninjas because they usually have some decent stuff and i'm sure they won't mind well i was wrong they didn't mind a bit but i think tall can outrun them they didn't even need to outrun them they lost interest right away which means more new outfits for us and some new weapons as well and as the morning dawns the shobata is far behind the five and toll already has his eyes set on a new target they could plunder all in the name of yabuta of the sands a man they still need to free and if you want to free him as well subscribe now and let's do it together oh.